Hi, dear professors. I'm Chen Fangzhou from China, and I'm applying to the television program. First, I want to say that I'm really proud to choose television industry and make efforts to build a fascinating exchange platform for the audience. Here's an example. Once I was a journalist in a political news program in Lin Yi TV station. We visited, we visited Mr. Wu, whose family was very poor, his wife got sick, and the Operation Fei has driven the family to despair. However, in the end, Mr. Wu was reminded to take advantage of the rural medical care, and it gobbled as high as 95% of the fee. This report had received a huge response, not only because the audience got more information about the medical care, but also they felt connected and resonated with Mr. Wu's experience. And I believe um, the graduate studies will further enable me to provide valuable information and universal human life experience to communicate effectively with the audience all over the world. Second, speaking of a significant person in my life, I would like to talk about my mother. You know, because my father has a really strong character and uh, tends to uh, judge everything in black and white. So, under his influence, when I was very young, I thought that life is all about winning or losing, and the way getting along with others is to use your face and strength to beat them. But one day, I was very frustrated because I thought that other kids did not like me, and I could not use my face to like, let them like me. So, I came to my mother and asked her, what could I do? My mother told me that I'll never forget. You can just bring some candies tomorrow and make friends with them. It's really simple, right? At first, I was confused. But soon later, my whole world seemed to be brighter. And after that, I get to know life is also about to enjoy friendship and other interesting experience even though they have nothing to do with success and also fists can't help to make friends the only way is to open your heart and be friendly third speaking of my hometown i have i always have endless words you know my hometown lin yi is a very small city located in the north of china and its people are famously warm simple and honest um, it's entirely possible that you have never heard of Lin Yi, but I bet you've already known a lot about China, right? Actually, the development of Lin Yi is a miniature of China, because Lin Yi has a really long history and is also the hometown of the China's most famous ancient thinker, Confucius. Do you know Confucius? <laughs> mm. But modern Lin Yi used to be a very poor and backward uh, mountain village in the modern time. However, I'm proud to say that now Lin Yi is developing rapidly and with full of vitality. And uh, it has the mm, largest, uh, largest wholesale market in China and it also has its own airport. By the way, if you want to come, I will be quite willing to invite you to taste a special soap called Sa, and you're gonna love it, I'm sure.